This is Paint Swatch Charms. It's a 12 inch finished block. This is a chance to use some leftover charm squares, 5 inch charm squares, or if you have a package of coordinating ones that would look pretty too. This 12 inch finished block has four charm squares and then it's framed in the background fabric. And here is the diagram. Here are your patches you'll cut. The first one is 1 by 12 inch finished and you cut 1 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. We need three of those. The next one, patch B, is 1 and a half inch cut by 5 inches cut and you'll need six of those. Then you'll need your four 5 inch cut squares, our charm squares that are already pre-cut. Here is a quilt you can make. It's, it's 60 by 84 inch finished. 35 blocks set five across and seven down. And here I have the fabric requirements and cutting instructions for this. When I'm done with the block and showing it to you, we're going to take this and this is going to be another class of our quilt engineering school. And I'm going to show you how to use the quilting apps on my blog. I'm going to show you how when you have a lot of these fabrics to cut, sometimes the lengthwise and the crosswise grains, how you cut them will be different. Stay tuned for that after we do the block because it's a very simple block. Now I'm just going to lay the block out. Now we'll just piece the block. How I piece this, I piece this column first, the small pieces between these two. Then I pieced this one the same way. But I wanted to show you when you piece this piece between the two columns, you need to make sure that these line up. Because if they're wonky, they're going to really show up because it's right in the middle of the block. And here's how I do that. I've already pressed this, so I'll just show you as if I hadn't. So, so what this side here, this white piece in the middle, and then it's it'll be up like this because it's not sewn to the other one. I take a pin and I just kind of slide it from where these two fabrics intersect, and I slide it out to the middle or to the edge of this piece here. Do the same thing on this side. put the pin down at the intersection and just slide it straight up and put it in the fabric. Then when you're sewing this piece at the bottom to it, you can match them up like this. So you see how the pin is matched and this pin is matched. Then you'll know that once you sew them together, they are lined up evenly so there's no distraction. So here's the front of the block, here's the back, and there it is. What I wanted to show you today was about cutting your strips into segments. All these instructions um, for the block a day, these pieces you cut are for one block. And it's fine that you would cut, since you only need three of these pieces, you would cut one and a half inches and then cut that with the fabric into 12 and a half pieces, 12 and a half inch pieces. That makes sense because you wouldn't want to cut a 12 and a half inch times with the fabric and then cut three pieces off of it. You're just wasting fabric. And the same thing can be told of patch B. You're cutting one and a half inch strip by five inch strips. But what if you're doing an entire quilt like this? And the three patches here all of a sudden become 105 patches because 3 times 35 for 35 blocks is 105. Same thing with patch B. 6 times 35 is 210. That's a lot of little narrow strips you're cutting off of your yardage. The only way to tell if you're saving fabric or not or using it wisely is to calculate it out and luckily that's one thing you can do with the apps on my blog so we'll go to that now and I'll show you. Alright here we are this website is quilt-notes 
dot blogspot.com it's up here there will also be a link in the description below the video and there will be a QR code on your instructions so you go to this this is my blog it's a five oaks retreat and just ignore this download information and you want to cl click on quilting apps this will take you to the two apps I have that the first one is sizing a quilt. This is where you put your blocks in there, your block information, and you determine what size you want your quilt. So we're going to skip over this one for now, and we're going to see how much fabric do I need in patches. What we wanted to do was look at this, these two patches, A and B, on these instructions. And for one block, we would cut one and a half inch would be the lengthwise grain because we don't want to cut 12 inches off of our fabric when we only need three pieces. If we're going to make a quilt that takes 35 blocks, then we need to multiply this three patches right here, the three patches by 35, which is 105. So let's put those numbers in here. The lengthwise grain, will be the 1.5 inches and the crosswise grain will be 12.5 inches. That's to get patch A off of this sheet. And the number needed is 105. And let's put that in there, the 105. And here are our results. You cut 35 strips at one and a half inches times the width of fabric. And you subcut each strip into three segments of 12 and a half inches. So that's a lot of strips. That's one strip per block. And if you look down here at the bottom, the fabric needed is 53 inches. So let's write that down. 53 inches of fabric, if we cut it this way. Let's go up here again and change the numbers. So instead of the lengthwise grain being 1.5, let's make it 12.5. That means you cut a 12 and a half inch times with a fabric strip. And then let's change this to 1.5. And we still need 105. And you can see it changed now to four strips at 12 and a half inches times the width of fabric. And you subcut each strip into 28 segments at one and a half inches. You still get your 105 pieces. But here the fabric needed is only 50 inches. So you save three inches of fabric. And that may not be seem like a lot, but you know, if you multiply that times five or six fabrics, then that does add up. So this, and not only that, I think that this is an easier way to cut because you're not dealing with these narrow one and a half inch strips and you're trying to cut pieces off of them. You've got a big 12 and a half inch piece and you can cut your smaller strips off of that. To me, it's, it's easier. It may not be for you. So there's the difference there. Now let's try patch B. We need six patches for one block, one and a half inches times five inches. So let's put, if the lengthwise grain is 1.5 inches and the crosswise grain is five inches, and we need 210 of these, so we'll put that in there. This says to cut 27 strips at one and a half inches and subcut them into eight segments of five inches. So the fabric needed here would be 41 inches. So we're going to write that down and see. Now let's switch. So let's put in if we cut the lengthwise grain now at five inches and the crosswise grain at one and a half inches, we still need 210 pieces. Now we're cutting eight strips at five and five inches times the width of fabric. And we cut each strip into 28 segments for a total of 210. So the fabric needed is 40 inches. So it's actually one inch less. And that's kind of a wash, you know, it probably doesn't matter one inch uh, or not, but it may, if you don't have the one inch, it probably matters. So this is a good way to tell when you're trying to determine how much fabric you need. Uh, and you can also determine which, which cut you want to make first, which length, your lengthwise cut it's 12 and a half inches or your lengthwise cut at one and a half inches and it makes a difference in how you cut it. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching.